hello uh, I promised to do a little video about how to turn a, a ball golf cart into a disc golf cart or uh, how, how I did it so here are a few tips uh, from my perspective or my point of view how I did it and it's been a working one I've had my car, my car which is over there I've been using it for a year <clears throat> now and I made another one for my friend because uh, when I bought that one I also bought this one they, they are the same I bought two they cost like under 20 euros or with the uh, shipping from uh, England they cost uh, somewhere around 20 euros so they are not expensive ones and uh, let's see first of all the cart itself how can I show it to you so you can you guys can see it let's put it this way <coughs> sorry the cart itself it's a two-wheeled wheeled one there are carts with three wheels but I prefer this one without the front wheel because uh, this actually stops the car cart uh, from rolling down a hill if you let it go so this uh, sticks to the ground and it uh, stops the cart so that's uh, that's better you don't have to run a, uh, after your cart every time you let it go and uh, I actually didn't do so much of modification uh, as you it's uh, I did less than you you you'd, you'd expected but let's see what I did <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> first of all is the, the back plate, which is plywood. I think it's five or six millimeters thick. You can also use a plexiglass or something like that. But this one is uh, 35 centimeters uh, in this diameter. And this way it's 30. I used 30 by 30 centimeters on my, my first one. And it's, it's good enough. Uh, the five centimeters, it doesn't matter at all. I just happen to have a, this kind of a piece. And I, <clears throat> I applied it to the cart with the two existi existing holes in the cart, which, were, which are there. I only changed the bolts uh, to longer ones because of the thickness of the plywood. <clears throat> and I used washers uh, on this side so the bolts does the, don't break the plywood. And, and I also used a zip two zip locks. You can see one underneath the duct tape and uh, another one there. So it doesn't wobble. It doesn't move at all. You can see it. It's it's quite sturdy. And when you have uh, put this on, then the next step is to put the put the shelf. You need a little shelf to support your bag from the bottom, so it doesn't uh, slip down. And when you have this, it's very sturdy to use. The I, I had to drill a hole here to apply this uh, it's this kind of a piece of metal you can buy these from a hardware store and I attached first this one onto the uh, the wooden plate don't you like this that's neat it's in those lanyards you get from the trilogy challenge every year but anyway you drill a hole and you attach this but you have to Take care of that this angle here it's uh, it matches your bag so if the angle is off the bag doesn't fit uh, correctly it might be coming uh, this way off or this way off and it slips from the shelf and stuff like that so you have to take care of that and the way I did it uh, I don't know if you can see it. I put a one nut and three washers <coughs> over there so it's in the line it's aligned with the back plate so between the cart and the and this and this metal this one sorry there have to be something to keep it uh, in place okay so that's the back plate and the the bottom holder <clears throat> and the next thing i did was the, that i extended the handle a bit why i did it uh, is because uh, I saw I attend there was the it was okay the original one which is like this it was a uh, but it was 20 to 30 centimeters shorter the handle itself was okay 
But what happened is, uh, was that when I was uh, pulling the cart, uh, I started to see the thing happening that I, I hit myself with the wheel on the heel of my shoe. And that problem went away when I, when I noticed that by extending the, the handle, you can, uh, the cart is left more behind you so you can uh, walk easily and you don't have to kind of like constantly think that you're going to hit yourself with the cart. And uh, also the longer leverage it gives you, it's more, it's easier to kind of like uh, pull up the cart and make it follow you. Oh, yep, yeah, you can see it's a bit top heavy because the the bag is not attached to it right now. Yeah, and I also, this uh, is some junk metal. I found it lying around in the house, in the garage, and I, I just put an old mountain bike, you know, grip, which is, it's comfortable. It's easy to, uh, it's very quick to use, easy to use. And that's about it. That's the basics that you need to do. Everything else is like, they are like little things if you want to like pimp up your cart. And I can show you, you mine. This is my cart. I've been using it a year. As you can see, there are little bit modifications to it more than the just the regular one. And what I did to this is uh, first I attached to an an amber umbrella holder. You can buy these from uh, golf stores. This is originally made for for a golf cart, so it obviously fitted very well here. It's screwable. You can move it up and down. Uh, of course, I have some my PDJ number and stickers and stuff like that. And then I made a a, a powder pocket. <clears throat> out of an old plastic juice canister 10 liter I just c cut it up and used the plastic just uh, so I, I'm putting with the daggers daggers so it has to be a little bit uh, bigger you know the holder but when you're playing with the cart it's so much easier to have a putter pocket here so you don't have to bend down and grab your instead of like putting them every time here so you can have this space for something like your approach discs or driving powder or something like that but I, I like to use my this holder here and you can also put your scorecard here and what else did I do yeah the holder is this is the same the handle and this one <coughs> sorry I have here what I have here is a is a pouch I that I keep my my towels in I can also put a extra water bottle here this one is from a surplus army uh, online store it's used uh, to it's uh, it's supposed to be attached to your service uh, rifle to collect the shells empty shells but it's a great it's a waterproof you can put uh, your towels here even if it's raining they stay dry because you know you can you can close it like this this is this is handy and then I attached a, a, a water bottle holder this is uh, the ones that you use to attach the they are made for your bike or mountain bike or race uh, bikes or every uh, any type of bike so I can put uh, another bottle here or I can put my JBL uh, flip 3 you know the Bluetooth speaker here if I want to listen to music when I'm playing or practicing, that's very handy. Then, what I did, oh yeah, the handle. This is kind of like an uh, important thing to do. You, 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 want, you might want to have a handle here. And the reason why is because sometime, every now and then, sometimes you have to lift the cart when it's full. And it's kind of heavy. So, it's easy. You just grab here with your right or left hand and just pick it up over a fence or something like that, the stairs, uh, a ditch or something, it's easy. And off you go again. Oh. So you can see that one is a bit, uh, that too is a bit top heavy when it's empty, but when you put your bag, uh, even if the bag is empty, 
uh, it stays uh, it stays fine, stays up fine. So, yeah, it's pretty simple to do uh, thing to do. Just have to th give it a uh, a thought, and or you can do it as I did. So I kind of like invent it as I as I build it. The first one, yeah. The second one was easier because I knew what to do. So there it is. Enjoy building your cards. They are easy, easy to make. <laughs>